The Grotta delle Venere is one of the most relevant prehistoric caves of Italian prehistory, uh, where for millennia, generations left significant traces of their passage. It is located uh, in Apulia, that part of Italy, uh, uh, two kilometers from Parabita, that is near Lecce, uh, in a territory frequented by men since Paleolithic. The cave was identified in 1975, and in this year were found the two Venus figurines that gave the name of the cave. <coughs> Made of animal bone, they are an invocation to fertility that spread through Europe from uh, 36,000 years ago with the production of uh, female statues, usually characterized by the accentuation of sexual attributes. Uh, uh, the first real excavation campaign carried out in the Grotta della Venere, and it was due to the University of Lecce and Pisa, and they were carried out from uh, 1966 to 1972. The Grotta delle Venere is characterized by external shelter with a semicircular plan and the inner cave divided into a central trunk and two tunnels, north and west. They have two district and complementary stratigraphic deposits. Look to the Paleolithic <clears throat> uh, the most ancient traces of human presence are found in the external shelter and consist of Neanderthal lithic tools. The use of the Middle Paleolithic followed after the collapse of the vault only at the end of Upper Paleolithic. In fact, the Epiromanellian Celtic tools and the metal remain and uh, meal remains left by sapiens date back to this period, uh, as well as 500 stones and uh, uh, 116 engraved bones, which represent an exceptionally testimony of the symbolic universe of Paleolithic antagators. Those ones. In this period, between the end of Pleistocene and the beginning of Holocene characterized by modification of the habitat, there is a change in the portable art of Gunter Gators, a clear hint of a symbolic universe also in the process of modification, no longer orientated to zoomorphic representation by almost exclusively to the incision of geometric linear motifs on stones or bones. It's a syntax that is found through Europe from Provence to the Black Sea, as well as in Salento. And the Grotta delle Venere uh, is exhibited an, uh, uh, an exceptionally wild sample of media with a, vo a vast repertory of motifs, from bundles of lines to ladder motifs, to lattice to square bands. The inner part of the cave was used only from the Upper Paleolithic, when sapiens choose it as a burial place. Uh, the use of the cave continued also in the later phase of the Upper Paleolithic, as evidenced by flint tools of the Epigraphian age. A level of soil um, uh, strictly affected by illegal excavators sealed the Paleolithic occupation on both the outer shelter and the inner cave. It's characterized by the presence of numerous artifacts, pottery, flint, obsidian, and metal, used in activities related to the cult and referable to a period between the Neolithic and the Middle Ages. Some of them were found together with animal offerings inside holes dug with cult intent. These holes, often modeled on the rocky bottom, were filled in part once the ritual was completed with large stones. 
that the excavation of one of these holes, radiocarbon dated, thanks to the collaboration with SEDAT uh, of uh, the University of Salento, to the second half of the fifth millennium BC, and determined the underlying burial of the Upper Paleolithic, partially destroying it. Remains of both sheep and goats and ceramic fragments were found inside, and they were interpreted as an offer deposit by the Neolithic men in honor of individuals perceived as their own ancestor. Indeed, the practice of laying down precisely part of boss in silos, holes, pits, altar, finds numerous comparison in the recent and final Neolithic of Italian Sudist. The pottery has been analyzed as a fool, and many pieces have been revised from the chronotypological point of view. The study has allowed us to establish the uninterrupted use of the cavity from the beginning of the 6th millennium BC until the Bronze Age, with different differences in terms of intensity and destination in different periods, as well as to identify some indicators of wine rage contacts. Those include symbolic artifacts, containers with shapes and decoration widespread in Sicily and in the regions of Eastern Adriatic, documenting the ability by the Apulian Salento communities to participate in the wide circulation of ideas and information that prevailed the Mediterranean from the, the 6th to the 2nd millennium BC. The ceramic complex consists of 17,000 finds. 86% are dated to the Neolithic with almost all the typological elements referring to the 6th millennium BC. <laughs> In fact, fragments refer to the impressed ware, scratched and painted ware, different ceramic styles typical of southern peninsula in the ancient and middle phases of Neolithic. About 200 artifacts refer, however, to the 5th millennium BC, namely the recent and final stages of the Neolithic. Among the indicators of wine ranging contacts during the Neolithic period present in the cave, there are some objects with a symbolic meaning. <clears throat> um, that show the sharing of an ideological patrimony common to the entire peninsula and Greek Balkan world. There are three pintaderas uh, clay stamps, whose decoration shows connection from the stylistic point of view with Greece, Serbia, and Albania, and a lack of rhythm also attested in the Trans Adriatic world. The obsidian tools are added to the ceramic artifacts, some of which analyzed to XRF analysis at SEDAT have proven to be of Lipari origin, as documented for all the Neolithic site of Salento. Uh, the fragmentation of the cave continued during the Copper Age for the 3rd millennium BC, although with less intensity than during the previous millennia. The furnishing fall into the production of daily use with the exception of some carefully crafted vessels, such as those with impressed points found at the Grotto de la Cervi and Porto Badisco, and the widespread of the initial phase of the Copper Age in Sicily, and on the eastern side of Adriatic, and those of the Laterza type decorated with a fine syntax. Also worthy of note is a juglet decorated with horizontal engraved line which is compared to a similar vase found in La Terza Tum Tree, also in Apulia, referred to the literature 
as coming from the Dalmatian castle of Cetina. As a from, uh, as a, for the Bronze Age, the larger quantity of ceramics containers refer to the generic forms, not attributable to phases or specific periods, apart from some very few exceptions. Vessels of and everyday objects documented in the cavity and in the cohabited sites <coughs> of the area could suggest a residential intense use of the cave during the second millennium BC. Look into the metal artifacts. Okay. Uh, between the Neolithic and the Metal Age, hundreds of vessels and artifacts related to domestic activity, such as spindles, stone, and obsidian tools, or ceremonial tools such as the pintaderas, were placed in the cave. To this one has to head, for in Neolithic, the object in copper, a raw material absent in Apulia. At least the metal was the four. An import, as you can see, parapita is with the arrow is, and there is no copper in all southern Italy except for the deep southern Calabria. So the metal was therefore an import. The comparison of these items were investigated by XRF. The triangular flat axe has a very archaic shape. It was analyzed by XRF, showing it was composed by almost pure copper with traces of arsenic, iron, and silver. Um, the, long, um, <clears throat> the long shallow hollow along each side is an indication of manufacture in a two-piece mold. Morphologically similar specimen came from Campagine, Reggio Emilia, Sgurgola, Lazio, Rapolano, Tuscany, and uh, uh, Stankovci, Dalmatia, and they were attributed to the late Neolithic, or in the very early stage of Copper Age. Very early uh, copper working in southern Italy were found in Pizzica Pantanello, Metaponto, a crucible for copper melting from an early Neolithic context dating to the 4,420 uh, for uh, 2,700 calibrated BC. But anyway, the copper was obviously imported. <coughs> uh, another copper flat axe uh, belonged also to a very early type that uh, is generally ascribed to the very early phases of Copper Age. The cutting at the butt is an indication that a two-piece mold was used also in this case. It's made of almost pure copper with traces of arsenic. Uh, we got also two holes, again, with a similar composition a copper with some <coughs> uh, um, traces of iron and arsenic. Um, uh, these are artifacts deposited in the cave as offers, perhaps to divinities of the underground world, unlike what happened in the other Neolithic context of central southern Italy, such as Grotta Tocuccini or Grotta Nisco, where copper objects Daggers, a razor blade, pins constitute the set of collective burials in the cave to underline, perhaps, the privileged status of some individual over others. There are few peninsula caves that preserve, in the Copper Age, an exclusively cultural function, and among this, there is a Grotta delle Venere. Here, the votive deposition of valuable objects may have expressed the desire to maintain beneficial relationships with the spirits of underground world. We are going to the conclusions. Um, 
Grotta della Venere has returned evidence of ability to participate in the wide circulation of ideas and information that pervaded the Mediterranean from the 6th to the 2nd millennium BC. Non-local raw materials such as obsidian and copper, objects of symbolic nature as pintaderas, ceramic styles common to a large geographical area are evidence of how the cave and with it the entire Apulia Salento were able to interact with an interconnected world in which important role had the progresses in navigation. Thank you.